Real Talk with Adam 972. This one today is Foolish False Prophets Exposed. I'll be reading from Ezekiel chapter 13, verses 1 through 14, out the Tanakh. The word of the Elohim came to me, O mortal, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy. Say to those who prophesy out of their own imaginations, Hear the word of the Elohim. Thus says the Elohim Yudewahe, Woe to the degenerate prophets who follow their own fancy without having a vision. Your prophets, O Israel, have been like jackals among the ruins. You did not enter the breaches and repair the walls for the house of Israel that they might stand up in battle in the day of the Elohim Yudewahe. They prophesy falsehoods and lying divinations. They say, declares the Elohim, when the Elohim Yudewahi did not send them. And then they waited for the word to be fulfilled. It was false visions you prophesied and lying divinations you uttered, saying, declares the Elohim Yudewahi, when I had not spoken. Assuredly, thus saith the Elohim Yudewahe, because you speak falsehood and prophesy lies, assuredly I will deal with you, declares the Elohim Yudewahe. My hand will be against the prophets who prophesy falsehood and uttering lying divination. They shall not remain in the assembly of my people. They shall not be inscribed in the list of the house of Israel. And they shall not come back to the land of Israel. Thus shall you know that I am the Elohim Yudewahi. Inasmuch as they have misled my people, saying it is well, when nothing is well, daubing with plaster the flimsy wall which the people were building, say to those daubers of plaster, it shall collapse. A driving rain shall descend, and you, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a hurricane wind shall rend it. Then when the walls collapse, you will be asked, what became of the plaster you daubed on? Assuredly thus said the Lord Elohim Yudewahe, in my fury, I will let those hurricane winds end. My anger, a driving rain, shall descend, and great hailstones in destructive fury. I will throw down the wall that you have daubed with plaster, and I will raise it in the raise it to the ground so that its foundation is exposed. When it falls, you shall perish in its midst. Then you shall know that I am the Elohim Yudewahe. Anyhow, the prophet Ezekiel proved that the nation Yahweh does not have no foundation to stand on with that strange fire doctrine that they're preaching. So, Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 15 says, You shall investigate and inquire and interrogate thoroughly. If it's true, the fact is established, the aborted thing was perpetuated in your midst. Anyhow, I got a video that I'm going to show y'all right now 
to prove that these people are pushing false doctrine and strange fire on the people of Israel. And Yahweh. In this particular video, I'm going to open your mind to the concept and instruction on how to demonstrate and explain the Messiah from 1900 years ago. It all started with myself and the good brother Shem Yael. We were having a discussion about, of course, Yahweh bin Yahweh. And the brother Shem said, you know, Yaakov, 1900 years means exactly what it says. 1900 year. He was born 1935. There's your 1900 years ago. I said, oh, wow. Then I said, hey, go. Huh? I said, hey, go. Nobody on the face of the planet Earth who speaks English, that if I say those three letters, A, go, in that particular format, do they think of the past or some years earlier? A, go, means now, this time, immediately, in this era, present day, 1900 years now. Let's take a closer look at the letter A. Let us take a look. Let us see. The letter A. Or A, the first letter and the first vowel of the modern English alphabet and the ISO basic Latin alphabet. Its name in English is pronounced plural. A's. It is similar in shape to the ancient Greek letter alpha, from which it derives. The uppercase version consists of two slanting sided of a triangle crossed in the middle by a horizontal bar. The alpha and the first is the letter A. Let's take a look at that more in depth. The letter A. Here, A. A go. Who is the A? Yahweh bin Yahweh. The A is the one the first begotten of the dead. What did the Messiah teach you about your ABCs? He said, I'm the A, and without me, you can't be. Be what? Reborn into the knowledge of Yahweh. And without B, you show can't see. See what? The kingdom of Yudei Wave. Let us study the man 1900 years now. Let's take a look at the mighty God. Yahweh bin Yahweh, born Hulan Mitchell Jr., October 27, 1935 to May 7, 2007. In 1979, founded and led the Nation of Yahweh, a new religious movement headquartered in Florida that had thousands of black Americans devoted at its peak. Now let's go back and look at something. Now wait a minute. Hulan Mitchell Jr., who is that? <laughs> I heard some people say, now how can that man be God? Well, that's because you don't understand or know anything about scripture. And you certainly don't know about Acts 3.22 and 23 if you don't understand that concept. Let's take a look at it. Acts 3 and 22 first. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord thy God, Yudei Wave Yahweh, raise up unto you of your brethren, your brethren amongst his people, like unto me. Him shall ye hear 
and all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. He was raised up amongst us like us. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from amongst his people. <laughs> That's what that means. No stork flew from heaven and dropped off the sun. He is a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, just like you and me, our brother. He had a government name and a slave name, just like you and me. I was born Stephen Romel Johnson. Now I'm reborn into Yaakov ben El Shabak Yahweh. The Messiah was born a common man, like me, like you. Then he came to us as Moses. Then Yahweh ben Yahweh. Anyhow, as y'all can see, they preaching A, B, C. <laughs> Strange doctrine. But uh, let's get back to what Deuteronomy 13 say. I just said you shall investigate and inquire and interrogate thoroughly. If it's true, the fact is established that the abhorrent thing was pe perpetuating your miss. As you can see, it was perpetuating our miss, some ABC doctrine. So this is what you're supposed to do to the people who push and stuff like that. It says in verse 16, put the inhabitants of that town to the sword and put its cattle to the sword, doom it, and all that it's in to destruction. Gather all its spoil into the open square and burn the town and all its spoil as a holocaust to your Elohim, Yudewahi, and it shall remain an everlasting ruin, never to be rebuilt. So this concludes this video.